Hey everybody, this is Pastor Charlie Barbosa with Faith House Calvary Chapel. Um, greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so the Lord's doing a new work. Uh, the Lord has allowed us the opportunity, has opened the door for us to take over the, uh, the building that was formerly First Love Calvary Chapel. And uh, so the Faith House family will be moving from 554 Workman Mill Road to Hadley Street. And we're excited about that. Um, yes, we understand that there has been, uh, unfortunately, some division. There has been some disbursement of the church family. We know that many are hurting and um, it's been a tough situation. But I wanna, I wanna encourage you today and I wanted to send out this message for you to understand um, God, God knew this was going to happen. The Lord loves his church and he has plans for his church. And at times, for whatever reasons, uh, there, there, there are going to be these disbursements or these church splits, whatever you want to call it. And you want, for whatever reasons, and not that God causes these things to happen, but he uses them for his glory. And I believe the Lord wants to do a new work here at, on Hadley Street. So the Faith House family is moving and the church formerly here at First Love is, going to be, is now gonna be known as Faith House Calvary Chapel. And we want you to be a part of that work should the Lord lead you. As I came and I turned the facility recently, um, one of the things the Lord showed me was a vision of Nehemiah and the people building the walls. And as the people were building the walls, the enemy came in um, and began to make his threats and, and his lies as he does. Because remember, the work, the, the, the work of the enemy is always to tear down. The work of the enemy is to try to destroy the work of the Lord. And so the people were building the walls and became frustrated. They were scared. They were in fear. And there were, there were, there were all kinds of rumors and innuendos and things happening. So the people scattered because of the threat of the enemy. Well, as that happened, the people left their implements and their tools and the trials and the things that they were building with, uh, and, and, and they scattered until Nehemiah led them back, led them back to rebuild, to rebuild the work of the Lord. And as I was touring the facility, I kind of noticed, and the Lord put that on my heart, as, as there were people here, there was a church here, many that were working and serving and investing in the kingdom of God. And I want to remind you, my friend, the work that was started here 33 years ago um, was always a work of the Lord. It was never a work of man. And it still isn't a work of man, and it will never be a work of man. It's God's work, and God's work is going to continue. And so as we have come to pick up that baton and do the work here of ministry uh, at on Hadley Street, um, we're, we're going to rebuild. And I want to invite you, those of you who invested in the work, those of you who have been part of the work, those of you that have been faithful to the work here on Hadley Street, we're going to continue that work because it was always for the Lord. It was always by the Lord. It was always to the Lord. And we're going to continue that in Jesus' name. And so I'm, I'm inviting you back to pick up the instruments, the implements, the tools, that were left behind and to continue to rebuild for the glory and honor of the Lord. Behind me is an empty sanctuary, but I believe the Lord is gonna fill it. I believe the Lord in these last days is going to make a revival. We want the church of God to be ready. The Lord, it's, it's his will that none would perish. And we know that there's gonna be a revival coming in these last days and we wanna be part of it. And I want to invite you, should the Lord lead you, to prayerfully come and join us this Sunday, this Sunday at 10 a.m. We're going to be here in celebration of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we want you to be a part of that. You can check us out on faithhouse.church. That's our website. Um, and there's so much more I want to share with you. But I, I just wanted to invite you to be a part that, of, of the work of the Lord that he started so long ago and that he's going to continue and that he's going to finish. As, as the word says in Philippians, uh, that I'm confident of this one very thing, that he, he that had begun the work is faithful to complete it. 
My friends, it's the Lord's work. Always was the Lord's work. And we're excited. So this Sunday at 10 a.m., come and join us as we celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, to see, to begin a new work. Come and be revived. You know, the, the, uh, the meaning of revival is to be brought back to life, to be refreshed. And I believe that's what the Lord wants to do here. And I believe that's what the Lord wants to do as we reach out, continue to reach out to the community that many would be saved, that many would come to know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for his glory. Lord, you guys, I look forward to talking to you again a little bit more on Sunday and sharing that vision with you. Until then, in Jesus' name, moving forward and onward. God bless you.